Our next guest is one of four Canadian astronauts who may be on the Artemis II mission. Joshua Kutrick was at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida this morning as NASA prepared for the launch, and he's joining us now in Houston. Good uh, evening to you, sir. Good evening. Thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks for being here. Let's start with the delay. What did you think of today's postponement? Yeah, you, you know, mixed feelings. It's been a very up and down day. Uh, it was wonderful to be there in, in the first case as a Canadian with mm -hmm. the Canadian delegation to know that, that we're part of this amazing adventure going back to the moon, that we're a prime partner with NASA. Um, so a lot of energy, a lot of excitement that's been built up over years and years and years waiting for this morning. And then, of course, with the postponement, uh, there's going to be a little bit of disappointment. I think my colleague said it well, the Part of me, you know, the astronaut part wanted to see this thing fly, um, but at the same time, the professional part that maybe <laughs> the test pilot in me um, knows that this is kind of kind of the way it goes. This is part of the business. It's an immensely complex machine. It has to come off the pad right because it's worth billions and billions of dollars. And so, um, in another sense, it's, it's a little bit of a win as well today to have a postponement and a a time to do it right again. Well, and truly not much can be done about thunderstorms, of course, but there were all of those technical issues as well. So as someone who could potentially be replacing one of those mannequins going forward, how concerning is it that there were all these issues so close to launch? Um, it, I don't view it as concerning. I, I view it as part of the job. Flying in space is, is very, very difficult, but it's something near and dear to my heart. I think it's very important. I think it has to be done. I think it's tied to the future prosperity of Canada. Um, and so I, I feel very proud to be able to play a role in that. It's certainly a risky job. There's safer things you can do with your, your job, with your time. But, you know, at the end of the day, that's what the job is about. It's designing new equipment. It's about pushing boundaries. Mm -hmm. It's about expanding, you know, our understanding of what we, we think we can do. It's about making the impossible possible. And, and we all got to see a little bit of, a little bit of that today. Um, this was a, a very high-risk mission. It, it will remain a high-risk mission when it flies, uh, and that's why there's no crew on it. So the, the idea is very much to go out, uh, use a, a mission without crew to prove out all of these new systems, and then when we're ready, in a couple years, Artemis II put some crew on it, including a Canadian astronaut. And potentially you as well. Now, thus far, I understand you've not been to space, but of course you are one of four Canadian astronauts who may be on that Artemis II mission. So how does it feel to be so close to getting one of those coveted seats? I mean, I, I feel very, very lucky to, to be here in general, to have this job, to be able to wear this uniform on, on behalf of our country and the Canadian Space Agency. I feel very proud as well. I mean, this is uh, historic. This is history in the making. Um, it's opening up a lot of opportunity, I think important opportunity, and it's proud for me to think of the fact that Canada is involved in that, that we're a prime partner with NASA, that we're helping them to build the Lunar Gateway, that we're part of the Artemis missions, we'll be the first international partner to fly on Artemis, we'll be the first international partner to fly into deep space. Um, and so it's, it's a sense of pride. Of course, we're all, we're all very, very excited, over the moon excited, uh, <laughs> but we're, a, we're a, we're a small team and, and we just can't wait to see someone fly this thing. Well, and over the moon, excited, of course, because this is the first time humans are going back to the moon in 50 years since the Apollo mission. Why is it so important to get back to the moon? You know, it's important for the, the, the roadmap of our future prosperity. I mean, I've always felt that as a country, as humans, as individuals, we have to keep pushing boundaries. We have to go out and do the, the really hard things. That's how we stumble upon the, the greatest scientific discoveries we have. That's how we innovate. Space exploration to me is really about solving problems here on Earth. We do this in incredibly hard stuff in orbit, but what it gives to us is solutions to problems right here on Earth. And, and so it's a, it's a very important endeavor. Um, you know, the, the mission itself is a bit different than Apollo. Artemis is not set up to, to go there and come back. It's all about going there in a, in a permanent, sustainable way. The technology is much more advanced. The objectives are much more difficult. Um, and ultimately, it's, it's all with that, that final goal in mind of sometime, hopefully, in the 2030s, uh, getting a, a human mission all the way to Mars. So just remarkable, remarkable to be a part of that um, as a Canadian.
Yeah, I can't even imagine. But Josh, thank you so much for joining us on the program tonight to share your excitement with us. We appreciate it. Pleasure to talk to you. Thank you. And that was Joshua Kutrick. He is a Canadian Space Agency astronaut.